Hi there, lovely people. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. 5.45 here. Uh, this is already, holidays are getting over. And I think it's a weekend, so people are still back at home enjoying their weekend for the Eid. Uh, so city is still quiet, but people will eventually come back and we're going to have that uh, awful noise back. I hate <laughs> that noise, you know. Everywhere, the honking, people are going crazy. City life kind of sucks in that way. But today, uh, I have done two reviews for you. And uh, third episode, I'm going to do a requested video, which I thought I did long back. I don't know if I did, but I'm going to redo this anyway if I did. Uh, I think it's brother Rituraj uh, from India. I, I'm sh I, I cannot remember because uh, it was a few days back. He or whoever, uh, like, I think I'm sorry, I should have taken note. Uh, request me, have you done talk on Cartier House? Because you have quite a few Cartier review. And Cartier Fragrance House, not many people review a lot of their fragrances. But I feel just like Van Cleef and Arpels, you know, this house is beautiful. Uh, uh, Cartier makes a uh, Cartier. I don't. I cannot say it properly in French. I think it's more like Cartier. You know, something like Mark would pronounce very fancy way, but I cannot. I just say Cartier. You know, so sounds like an American. You know, like Cartier. Okay, give me some Cartier watch. So you know, so you know, people cannot like blame you. Like, oh, he's he's speaking like American English, so it's okay. But it's not Cartier. You know, I think pretty much sure it's Cartier or something. So French is a very sexy language. I really wish I knew the language, but nonetheless. So Cartier House, they make watches, jewelry, as far as I know, and then they make fragrances. I don't know what are the products they make. I never explored. Okay, so I don't want to bluff like, hey, man, Cartier makes some excellent leather bags. They have this signature everywhere down there. And, you know, when you go there, you're going to find this nice little uh, tag there. It's going to give you a history. No, no BS. Okay, I know their fragrances, some of them. And sadly, I actually wanted to get a few more, you know, Pasha de Cartier, Santos, must de Cartier. These three fragrances in general, if I had, I would feel my collection is sort of like good. But, you know, uh, you cannot have everything. So whatever you have, make the best use of it, right? So there's another house called Kenzo. I really like that creativity. Also don't get the recognition. So that's another day, day's discussion. So let's go. So how do I know Cartier? I saw first fragrance when the fragrance community was really alive, 2016. I saw people talk about Declaration Don Soir, or Cartier Roadster and I was like wow those bottles look nice I saw Mark's review on Cartier Roadster I was really interested in that one but first one I was interested Declaration Don Soir uh, and I went to buy I'll tell you a little story before I start because this is interesting I went to buy Declaration Don Soir I smelled it okay and there was some uh, promotion going on if you buy like a big bottle you get like four samples or if you buy a small bottle you get two samples so I told them I absolutely loved it. I sprayed it that day I was going to buy Lanuit Alum or, or Loam. And I actually decided to buy this over those two. So I'm just saying in general, I love the opening of Cardi Declaration Dune Soir over Lanuit Alum. Okay. If you know how much I love Lanuit Alum, so yeah, the story makes sense. But the sad thing is when I came home, the boxes were kind of identical or something. I did not realize they gave me Cartier Declaration, not Dune Soir. And I opened it, it was in Malaysia, and I opened it, they gave me this one. And I was so not happy because I opened it, I took it back. They said if the product was intact because the retail shop, it's a, you know, Cartier outlet, they wouldn't change it for me. And I was so sad because that time, you know, the 50 ml of this fragrance cost me like a lot of money. You know, basically you can get a big bottle at that pr price in Bangladesh. So I was like, what can I do? You know, I brought it back and I decided, you know, I got really angry. I finished all my savings and I bought Declaration Dune Soir the next day and I got the samples. Both were 50 ml bottles. You can check my very old video uh, in my really horrible camera because that time Malaysian internet is horrible, man. Speed is so bad. Trust me. So long story short, Cartier Declaration. Let's talk about this. This fragrance I did not like. I sold it off to a guy. I <coughs> swapped it. Sorry. Give me a second. Yeah, I have a little bit of cold going on. Sorry about that. And then I traded it and I gave it away. I did not like it. It's spicy. It's very masculine and it's like not a beginner's fragrance. You know, it's like, I think Jacques Cavalier or who did this, you know, it's really nice prayer. It's a, right now I love this. I love this a lot. It's like a masculine, spicy, woody kind of fragrance and mostly it got the spices. Okay. And this fragrance can get compared to something like Hermes's Voyage de Hermes, which I have. This one is similar to that. It has cardamom, you know, it's an interesting nose breakdown. It got some green and got some spices very masculine fragrance this one it's not um, suitable for youngsters you know but if you are into already you know you're upping your game a little bit like you are trying to get something 
and more serious you know you're trying to get you know you want to be noticed you know like hey i wear tear dermis give me something tear dermis quality like there you go okay cartier this one can get compared to tear dermis in many ways is that vetiver it has i, I forgot but this is a true uh, timeless classic it has a perfume version which i do not have i think that one is nicer than this but the first one is declaration by cartier so that one i like now i didn't like back then so second one i'm going to show you is that the one i love the most from this house it's called declaration don't swear i got uh, i think two to three bottles full bottles of it big bottles after my 50 ml ran out and i always was in love with this this is a niche quality like let's not say niche quality this is something you pay 500 dollars and you expect to get fragrance like it okay that good the opening i hate rose trust me i hated rose back then nowadays i enjoy some rose but i don't wear rose that much because rose is not my uh, mojo this fragrance however is a different story it has a pink pepper sandalwood and then the rose is beautiful this fragrance i always recommend on valentine's day because it's that good it's just one of the best 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10 fragrances of all time i always love this okay let me just do a um, quick spray man uh, so many compliments so many memories since 2016 okay so it's been what six years or so i know this perfume the opening will steal your heart if you're into perfumery like you just got in try this one out there's nothing that smells like this this is better than lyric man by amouage at least to me fresh rose last a long time but you need particular personality to wear this because this can rose cannot can be a little bit challenging but this is fragrance is just stunning okay declaration don't swear is a 10 out of 10 all day so then i got the elder brother of it i saw a lot of reviews i used to buy fragrances based on reviews this was one of them the elder darker brother of declaration don't swear this is called intense or intense the dark bottle i heard this one is discontinued getting rare to find prices are still good you know i got it not for a very expensive price tag but not cheap so in bangladesh if you buy testers or um, you know even if you get full bottles they very used to be like under 60 dollars uh, this is that price tag 100 ml what you get from this is declaration don't swear but a lot more intense a lot more spicy uh, imagine declaration don't swear mixed with spice bomb this is what you get so this is a spicy affair spices and rose are like neck to neck you know uh, pink pepper black pepper you get a spicy affair this one is strictly for winter you know like night time when it rains a lot more serious the rose is a lot more gothic and it's not a fresh fragrance by any means but uh, if you like the declaration don't swear you can definitely try it but i would still prefer declaration don't swear all year over this but uh, in the winter this is really lovely okay so this is declaration don't swear intense okay third one <clears throat> fourth one i got is from the declaration line and declaration or declaration has a lot of flankers okay they release declaration in different colors green red same juice and they have few more like flankers i think declaration the blue bottle you know they have few uh, watered down version but i got this one with me this is called declaration i think uh, cologne cartier declaration cologne the juice color is mild green that's right and this is how that frost frosted bottle looks really lovely bottles one thing i do not appreciate these ones are really cheap looking uh, stoppers and then atomizers are like it looks like basically missing a neck you know uh, and i don't like this sprayers are very good but it feels like it's gonna break okay but it never broke but the stoppers sometimes they do break this one right here is a summer gem okay i absolutely love it it has some spices like the original but mostly what you get is that nice little lemony grapefruit or citrus opening which is really nice cooling and citrusy you know like easy to wear for summer this is something it's you know like discontinued but you can find it for a good price okay so declaration uh, cologne is a nice one uh, this is more like uh, summer and spring got good longevity though okay uh, so good side of that is this okay so those are the four that i have from declaration line moving on to the next line is an excellent line i think there are four of them in the line i have two okay these are called roadster and this is the review i saw of mark rope zero eight my fragrance guru always i take his name um, this one right here if you love mint and if you like a uh, mint and then unique perfume with longevity all day this one sadly is discontinued by the way prices are gonna go high very soon so this one is inspired by one of the cartier's watches okay which has the dial like this okay it, it, the bottle basically sits like that originally okay it has a flanker i'll show you in a bit this one i think has uh I forgot the nose breakdown exactly vanilla perhaps uh or uh, patchouli it has the mint and a very weird combination but it works 
you know it works it gets noticed it gets complimented nobody nobody has a fragrance that smells like this uniqueness factor is 10 out of 10 longevity is through the roofs okay you can wear this in the winter time it will still perform really well so this is a weird one and this is a fragrance for mature noses not everybody will understand if you love mint one of the best mints in the game as rope zero it says check it out this is a 10 of 10 cologne for all year okay this is called cartier rota beautiful fragrance so next one i think it's i had it before and i repurchased it i sold it off once because it's hard to find now so i collected it for collection purpose this is called roadster sport so they have one that looks like a you know speedometer or something that one i never found that one is a bit rare uh, i think limited time release um flanker this one was uh, just a regular release so this one is a lot more easier to wear okay let me and the caps are really nice though okay it's just locking mechanism okay and it does look like previous one but the red one gives a sporty vibe this one is a hidden gem okay uh, why i call it hidden, hidden gem because a lot of people nowadays they look for a perfect sporty fragrance which this is not really proper sporty but uh if it, the summer comes you know like you want mint and citrus man this is like a really nice really nice citrus mint combo okay and you get that hermes quality hermes gives that summery vibe you know like they have few fragrances from uh unjardin line you know uh herbaceous like vegetal this one is not that vegetal but it has the green and citrus property and this one minus is that i think the vanilla or whatever that was in the uh, patchouli is in the original one this one doesn't have it it's a lot more transparent so even if you do not like uh, declaration uh, sorry roadster you might like sport so this is a nice one it's definitely unique fragrance still now it is whatever being released that nothing smells like this quality but i prefer the original roadster over this because uh, the roadster basically is with me for a much longer period of time i wore it heck of heck out of it okay so this is a masterpiece and more wearable version is sport so i have a couple more fragrances from uh cartier i don't have a full bottle of it they have whole line of this fragrance called lenvol or lonvol i think uh, lovo i don't know no lovo is what man lonvin is called lovo i don't know man my pronunciation i don't want to mess around with it this is like lenvol okay this one is one of the most beautiful bottles i have a small uh 15 mil or so i purchased long time back or how much is it uh man hard to read yeah 15 mil so this one has a cap okay it looks like capsule uh it has sprayer thankfully and i use this fragrance like up to this much it was full but i never really finished it because i like smelling it but i feel it's kind of different this one has honey and i think this one has uh, perhaps a red wine or something like a note and it has a beautiful if you buy the full package it has a full glass kind of a packaging uh like looks like a wine glass and then the bottle is very very beautiful and it's very uh artistic so if you buy a full bottle you'll get that so check out the photo of Linval by Cartier. This one is different. I think this one has honey and then uh, perhaps that wine and then also has kind of like a weird note. Uh, was it, um, man, I forgot. What was it? Man, there's, a, there's one note that makes it kind of like unique and at the same time not mass pleasing. You know, there's something like, oh man, what's that? Fahrenheit has that note, you know, uh, violet leaves perhaps, this one has that, perhaps, I'm not sure. But that makes the fragrance unique, it's sweet, but at the same time, something is like making it weird, you know. So I like it, but not really love it, okay. At one point, I really was crazy about this fragrance, okay. But you can give it a try, see a uh, tester in your local Cartier, you can give it a sniff, okay. For me, it's, a, it's I am happy with this small one, I want the bottle for bottle, but the smell, at this current moment, it's not my most favorite, okay? But Glenwall is a nice perfume. It has sweetness. At the same time, something holds back that sweetness. This is what the gooey honey doesn't really like. 1821 sweet tobacco spirit. That one is a lot more yummy, drinkable. This one, it's like very uh, love it or hate it kind of like a, you know, polarizing fragrance, okay? So Cartier, you can say it's an artistic perfume, okay? This is called Glenwall. Last but not least, I told you I'd never really had the Pasha perfume from Cartier. But I did review Pasha Noir edition, edition Noir, and I did review Pasha de Parfum, Pasha de Cartier Parfum version. This one I'm showing you last because the quality wise, this fragrance is the highest of them all. I didn't re review Declaration Parfum, but I have this. If you ever get a chance and you do like Barbershop, um, perhaps Tom Ford is going to cost you $150 on a Boudi Jour, or if you buy something like their Sartorial, it's going to cost you $150. Bucks. 
Cartier? No, not the case. Even if you pay retail, you're going to pay, what, $85 most. Do not pay retail. Try to get it on discount. You get it under $65, okay? The quality of this fragrance is mind-blowing. Even if you do not like the smell, but you respect the smell. It's such a gentlemanly fragrance. It has that barbershop vibe, but at the opening, it has a boozy vibe, you know? Man, it has some sweetness. It has something like a boozy sweetness. It's very in intoxicating. And it introduces you in such a nice way. You don't feel like this fragrance is old. This is modern day. Like, it's, a, it's kind of like a classic fragrance. It's like a mature man's fragrance. But, but, uh, if you like Boucheron House, uh, like Jaipur, Boucheron Purom, that quality, this one has that quality. Very long lasting, all year round wearable. It's sweet and it's at the barbershop. I think got some lavender, obviously, if it's a barbershop fougier. But this is the highest quality from this house, okay? Max Forty, thanks to him for introducing this, okay? So this is Pasha de Cartier Parfum. The no uh, Edition Noir is kind of sweet, night owl fragrance, but the original one I haven't reviewed. So if I ever find uh, the Santos, Mas de Cartier and Pasha uh, from this line, I'll review. Pasha is more like a safari by Ralph Lauren, okay? So this is House of Cartier. It's an interesting house. You don't get like very usual suspects like, oh, Dior Savage clone or Blood Chanel clone. Nothing is clone. That is the most beautiful part. They have their own thing going on. So give it a try, okay? This house, you may fall in love with them. Some of them are really, really, if you really ask me what are my favorites, I'll just show you three. Most, most favorite are these three. Uh, Roadster, Pasha de Cartier Parfum and Declaration Don Soir. These three, I would say, are very, very interesting. Give them a try. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I think I'll go upload this. Have a nice day. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.